adductor canal or the subsartorial canal. This subsartorial canal is a canal as the term implies under the sartorius muscle. It starts from the apex of the femoral triangle, which I mentioned was where the sartorius overlaps the adductor longus. And it's about 15 centimeters long and it continues and it ends at the adductor hiatus, which I shall show you just now. So therefore, the medial boundary of the subsartorial canal or the adductor canal is the sartorius. And under that, there's a fascia, which I shall show you called the subsartorial fascia. The lateral boundary is this one. This is the vastus medialis muscle. And the posterior boundary is this muscle. This is the adductor longus. Now I have reflected the sartorius to show you the subsartorial fascia and the contents of the adductor canal. This fascia that we have slit open here, and we can see one edge of the cut portion here, and we can see the other end of the cut portion here. This is the subsartorial fascia, and this has got a plexus, the subsartorial plexus on it. This is the one which forms the roof or the medial wall of the adductor canal just under the sartorius muscle. We have slit this subsartorial fascia very carefully and we have progressed along to show the course of the structures inside the adductor canal. One of the contents was the nerve to the vastus medialis. We shall not talk about this any further because this is only finishing at the vastus medialis. The next structure that we can see, this is the saphenous nerve. The saphenous nerve runs in this adductor canal and we can see as we trace it further at one point, it emerges from the sartorial, subsartorial canal and we have retained the subsartorial fascia in this portion just to show where it comes out. So till this much, it is inside the adductor canal. So this is the saphenous nerve. Anteriorly, we have the saphenous nerve. The next structure that we can see here is this, which I have lifted up here. This is the femoral artery and this is the femoral vein. And to show it the same thing again here, this is the femoral artery and this is the femoral vein. So therefore, the most important contents are the nerve to vastus medialis, saphenous nerve, femoral artery, femoral vein. So these are the contents of the adductor canal. While it is in the adductor canal, the saphenous nerve is giving these branches. One is this branch, and this pierces through the adductor canal and supplies the skin of the anterior medial thigh. Then we can see yet another branch. This also pierces through the adductor canal and it supplies the skin of the medial thigh. Then we can see, as I mentioned, this saphenous nerve passes out of the adductor canal and we have lifted up the other end of it. We have purposely retained a little bit of the subsartorial fascia to show you the exact location where we see the saphenous nerve is coming out. Having seen the adductor canal from the left side, now we shall show you the same canal from the right side to give you a different perspective. The adductor canal. For that, I have replaced back the sartorius here on top of the adductor longus. The adductor canal starts where the apex of the femoral triangle starts and it goes and ends at the adductor hiatus. Therefore, to see that, I have reflected the sartorius and this is the location of the adductor canal. So what do we see in the adductor canal? First of all, we see this new structure here. This is the saphenous nerve. It's coming from the femoral nerve here. This is the longest cutaneous branch of the femoral nerve and the only branch which goes outside the thigh and this runs in the adductor canal and we can see it very clearly here along its full length. This saphenous nerve, after it passes through the adductor canal, it comes out through the adductor canal, it goes under the sartorius and then it comes to the leg and it accompanies the long saphenous nerve and it goes all the way, supplies the medial surface of the leg and a little bit of the medial surface of the foot. So this is the saphenous nerve, that's one content. The next content is this, this is the femoral artery and behind that the third content is the femoral vein. And the fourth content is this nerve here. This is the nerve to the vastus medialis, which is this muscle here. So these are the contents of the adductor canal. The adductor canal is bounded by the sartorius medially. Under that, there was a subsartorial fascia, which has been removed. Laterally, it is bounded by the vastus medialis. And posteriorly, it is bounded by the adductor longus. And behind that, by the adductor magnus. I shall trace my finger along the femoral vessels. And as I trace my finger, we can see that it is disappearing in one place. This is the adductor hiatus. And my finger has now gone into the popliteal fossa. If you look at my finger, you'll find that medial to my finger is this tendon here. This is the adductor tendon, which is the hamstring component of the adductor magnus coming from the ischial tuberosity. And lateral to my finger is the rest of the adductor magnus, which is the adductor component of the adductor magnus. So therefore, the adductor hiatus is an opening between the hamstring and the adductor component of the adductor magnus through which the femoral artery and the femoral vein passes 
and it goes to the popliteal fossa and there it becomes known as the popliteal artery and the popliteal vein. So that is about the adductor hiatus which is the termination of the adductor canal. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Dr. Sanjay Sanyal signing out. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Have a nice day.